All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Hurry and cut it, babe. I can't wait. I got you. I got you. Slow down. Slow down. You know, baby, I'm, I'm beginning to worry that you love this thing more than you love me. Come on, babe. I don't wish to separate either of you from each other. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. Just hurry, okay? Yeah. <laughs> babe, this is, this is grade one. Like, this is really good stuff. You like it. Yeah. You hid this under your bra, didn't you? I thought I have warned you against the use of substance. You slapped me. And I would do more than slapping you if you don't behave yourself. You know what? Enough of this delinquency. Now you will tell me the scum that is trying to destroy your life. Mm -hmm. Tell me who is the useless guy. You know what? Get ready. Because I'm shipping you to the US to meet your Aunt Harriet. Next month. It's just 2.5 million naira, mom. Send it to me if you don't want this video to go viral on social media. Leonard. I spoke to you this morning. You were supposed to be in Houston, Texas. What's going on? Babe, I didn't know how to tell you that I got deported. I was just hoping to hustle and raise money and travel back without having to bother you with my issues again. Hustle? The same hustle that you couldn't do that put a permanent strain between my mother and I? Is that what you're talking about? Baby, I'm sorry. Look, I'll make it up to you, okay? I promise. You don't! I... Don't touch me. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm just laughing because she's like, uh, punishment is, you know, I'll ship you off to US. There's nothing as bad as being in love with somebody that's a bad influence to you. Seriously, guys, it's the worst thing that can happen to you because whatever they introduce you to, you're going to fall for it because practically your life is interwoven with them. Now, when it comes to drugs, you know, I'm kind of like surprised that the mom's solution was to ship her off to US as if US is not full of drug addicts and uh, drug users and peddlers and you know all whatnot you know US still has his mega portion of drug users and abusers and even the sellers the dealers the you know, the users everybody is still here so when you encounter a child that is abusing drugs the solution is not to ship them away the solution is to find treatment for them treatment that you can monitor progress and of course do your best to try to disassociate them from whoever that's creating that bad influence. Now, of course, it's going to be tough because they're already in love with this person. There's a million reasons to be around them, not to talk of the fact that they're not hooked on the drugs. Many a times, we run into situations where our kids kind of turn out to be what we hoped they don't be. And the truth is that it's hard to navigate that path because you as a person did not actually uh, experience drug usage or drug abuse however there's experts for this so you know if you end up with a child that starts abusing or starts getting addicted to something it's definitely a good idea to seek help as soon as possible as you can see in the movie she kept saying that i, I told you before to stop using telling her before is not gonna stop it madam She's already hooked. Verbally just letting her know that she should stop that is not going to provide any solution. Definitely not a long-lasting one. She might pause for a few minutes or a few uh, days, but she's going to get back into it. That's why it's called drug addiction. So for this, I feel like the lesson that we should actually try to drive is for the parents. I don't even know if we're supposed to address people that are in a relationship. If you're in a relationship and your partner is doing something bad, something ugly, leave. Try to break out of it. Try to, I mean, you can only do so much towards trying to make him stop or make her stop. You know, if it's something you can make her stop, of course, do for the sake of the love you can share. 
But if you can't, don't let them drag you down with it. Because, you know, there's a lot of times where people start or get into something just by relationship with the person that's doing it. As you can see in the movie, you become the person that gets hooked. Other things start manifesting from there. Now she's stealing money or blackmailing her mother for money just so that he will give to a guy that's supposed to travel. Even if the guy didn't get deported, he 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 bad. And you think that he will come back for a drug user? You know, ladies, gentlemen, if you're in a relationship with somebody that's into drugs, it's better that you leave on the onset. Leave at the beginning because sooner or later, it's going to go from them hiding it from you. Then all of a sudden, they're going to get comfortable doing it in front of you. And the next thing is going to be for you to try it. And once you try it and you get hooked, you become part of a problem. If you like this kind of discussions, uh, please subscribe hit the notification bell like share let's get more people into the group my name is cj and i'm here to deliver sense